is 2025 going into 2026 and people still think that breaking down the muscle fiber and building it back stronger is what stimulates new muscle growth. So today we're going to be talking about myofibrillar hypertrophy and sarcoplasmic hypertrophy, what the differences are and what you actually need to train for if you want to see real muscle growth. All right, so first off, what is myofibrillar hypertrophy and what is sarcoplasmic hypertrophy? So to start us off, here is your muscle. Your muscle is made up of muscle fibers, right? The red is the muscle fibers, the blue is the sarcoplasm or the fluid that fills the space in between the myofibrils. Now, a myofibril is the smallest part of a muscle fiber. Now, obviously, when we're talking about myofibrillar hypertrophy, we're talking about building more muscle fibers, right? This is what we want if we want to see long lasting growth. Sarcoplasmic hypertrophy is what happens when the muscle expands, it increases with the fluid and um, it's got more fluid and it's got more glycogen in between the myofibrils and that causes the muscle to grow in size temporarily. So the real question is, how do we get more myofibrillar hypertrophy and still get a good amount of sarcoplasmic hypertrophy without generating a ton of fatigue? Now, when you want to train for sarcoplasmic hypertrophy, essentially you're just training for the pump, right? So you're going to do a high amount of reps with low intensity to get a lot of blood flow. You want that blood flow flowing into the muscle so that way the muscle expands, you get a nice pump. It feels great. We love it. Arnold said something about that. But if you want to grow actual new muscle fibers, you want to grow new myofibrils, it occurs when you get to the involuntary slowing of the contractile phase, right? And that's when you get to those last slowing five uh, reps or so at the end of an intense set. Because what's happening is the proteins acting in myosin are pulling apart on a protein called Titan, and it's that Titan that gets stretched and signaled to stimulate new muscle growth that generates new myofibrils inside the muscle. So not muscle damage, it's the involuntary slowing of the contractile phase.